Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Crash Blade Gaming. I'm your host Crash and we got a frustrating deck to play against for you guys, especially if you use special energy. And shout out to Najuza. They helped me build this deck by providing me a card that is specifically in this deck. So thank you very much. And for all you others out there, if you are watching this video and you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video, helps grow the channel, and I appreciate it a lot. But enough of me blabbering, let's get into the Pokemon question of the day. Okay, welcome back to another Pokemon question of the day, and let's go over last video's question. This type Pokemon can use its nose to look for food and dig through snow and mud. Who is this Pokemon? And we had a person comment with the correct answer, which is Swinub. Swinub is the Pokemon that they will use its nose to, ah, its nose to dig through snow. To, you know, search for food and sleep and whatnot, whatever he wants to do, but yeah. That was the answer to the last video's question, so Najuza, good job for getting that correct. And let's go ahead and move on to the Pokemon question of the day for today's video. So, this grass-type Pokemon is able to perform photosynthesis by sleeping in the sunlight. By doing so, this Pokemon gets its energy that way and does not need to eat. Also, this Pokemon does not resemble any plant or flower. Just to give you guys an extra hint there, uh, who is this Pokemon? Good luck. Leave your answer in the comment section below. And remember, uh, the totals have reset since we did have a winner uh, recently. So you guys will need to get three right before anybody else does. And you'll be eligible to win the prize that I give to people. Both Najuza and Fernando have now won. And maybe they're going for their second. We'll see. But let's go ahead and get to the deck list. Once again, shout out to Najuza. They traded me a Duraludon VMAX. I am grateful for that. So thank you very much. And I hope you're watching the video and enjoy this one. You helped make this video possible. Uh, so Duraluda VMAX, a Dragon-type Pokemon with 330 HP with an amazing ability called Skyscraper. Prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have special energy attached to it. Makes this guy immune. And then a huge attack here for three energies, GMAC pulverization, 220 damage, and this can hit other Duraludons. So mirror matches, you just need to be faster, I guess. Anyways. Well, how do we make this deck work? Of course, we're going to be using Duraludon V here with the Hard Coat. This just helps the survivability in the first couple of turns. You kind of need it sometimes. And it wouldn't be a metal deck without Zacian V and the Intrepid Sword ability, allowing you to look at the top three cards, put them in your hand, and put energies onto Zacian, which is really important to kind of help speed up the deck. But other than that, we play Crushing Hammers to get rid of the basic energies, the non-special energies, so there, our opponent has a harder time attacking. And how do we get all this set up? Adventurer's Discovery just makes this incredibly easy to set up. You get to search for three Pokemon V. That means you get Duraludon's Vs, Duraludon Vmaxes, Zacian's if you need them. And we play four copies of that. We play four Crystal Cave just in case they hit us. We can heal some damage. Same thing with Team Yeltal. Healing 50 damage from both active Pokemon, which doesn't really matter. Because if we two-shot things with 220 off of the Duraludon Vmax, we're hitting for 440. And then if you just hit 50, that's 390. You're, you're knocking out everything anyways. A couple of switch cards. Four bosses orders because we need to be able to take the knockouts when we want to. And then we got some big charms here. Help make our Pokemon a little bit beefier in the early games. Bryons, just in case we get knocked out. Avery is a sneaky good card when you're playing against people that have a lot of bench Pokemon. Just Avery them. Mew V Max, for example. That's one of them. So yeah, this deck's pretty fun to play. And let's go check it out in some matches. Well, I had to mulligan a bunch, so that's why our opponent has an extremely large hand. But I do have an adventure discovery since I am going second. But I have to worry about our opponent being able to take a knockout on one of the Duraludons. And I am going to attach an energy to it. So, ooh, our opponent's all set up. This is a bummer. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what happens though. I mean, there's there's a world in which I don't lose a Duraludon. It did discard another stadium, which is good for us. That means our Crystal Cave will be there. But our opponent is off to an amazing start. They attach an energy. And we'll wait and see what happens with us. Cool, so we top deck another Fighting Energy, which is good, in case they have a boss for next turn. 
we get our Duralud on Vs down and we get a VMAX in our hand. We play both of them. We attach an energy to one. And we can go ahead and play Crystal Cave just to limit their options. And we use Intrepid Sword here. I'm actually going to go ahead and attach to Zacian just in case. Kind of entice them to, to knock out the Zacian. Because once they have to go through my VMAXs, they're done. So we'll see. They need to get this Houndor out of the active. They should be able to evolve everybody. And... Hopefully they knock out the Zacian. I want them to knock out the Zacian. And maybe our opponent concedes. There they go. They're evolving. What do they got? Single Strike Roar. Okay. This is probably going on the Urshifu. Cool. Cool. I'm not worried. Not yet, at least. Do they have a boss? There's an Evo Incense that gets them either the VMAX or another Houndoom. They need a boss switch. Yeah. Well, they need a boss switch. Let's see, they're doing 220 right now. This makes you do 30 less. So they can't knock out my Duralud on V with their Shifu unless they get a VMAX. Uh, well, no, if they get a VMAX, they need an energy. No, they Marnie us. There goes our dude loot on VMAXs. Hopefully we get to something just as good. Ooh, Avery, Avery's fine, actually. Energy search. They got a switch, so they will knock out our Zacian, unfortunately. And it's all up to this Avery. Oh boy. It's all up to this Avery to get us a VMAX. So I'm gonna burn this energy search to thin the deck a little bit. And then play Avery. Oh. Yes. Yes, what a, what an Avery. This is perfect. We got our VMAX. We got an energy. Don't need to use a crushing hammer. Pass the turn. Now we just sit back, relax. And enjoy the show. Upgrade on VMAX, you boss up my other Dura Ludon. That's fine. Don't need to play anything else. I do have a research though. But even with the research, if they evolve into the VMAX, they take the knockout regardless. And then we're straight chilling. Oh, they just do a beatdown. Huh. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and attach the energy. We will heal 50 from both. And we'll, we'll let's use it. Slow them down for a turn. And research, because we were going to throw it away anyway. Oh, we miss. That's a bummer. Uh, let's grab that. That's fine. Let's use that. Adventures Discovery seems good because I can get the VMAX out next turn at least. And let's save that one in case we get Marnie. And pass turn. Yep, still sitting here chilling. No worries. No worries. They can't take out my VMAX. Not worried.
Do whatever you want, opponent. I'm straight chilling. Just chilling. You gonna hit me with another beatdown? All right, that's fine. That was your last beatdown. You shall not beat me up anymore. I refuse to get beaten up anymore. I'm a VMAX now. You can't touch me. Uh, we'll say done here. I'm going to use Poke Gear uh, just to see if I can hit into an Avery. <laughs> Our opponent concedes. That's what this deck. Ooh, looks like we're going against Urshifu. This is a perfect matchup for us. We got a Dura Loot on. We can attach the energy down here. And we can go ahead and Intrepid Sword. Adventure's Discovery for next turn is perfect. That gets us two VMAXs and a Dura Loot on. V, which is great. And we should be ready to go. Our opponent will most likely concede once we play that Duraludon. There's a special energy. Telescopic Sight won't matter. So let's see. Next turn is Adventure Discovery, Duraludon. They strafe me. Okay. Let's play down Duraludon. We go with Adventure's Discovery. Grab two VMAXs and Zacian just to thin the deck. That's fine. Evolve. Touch energy. Uh, no need to really do anything else. I could Crushing Hammer. Let's try it. Let's Crushing Hammer, see what we get. Nothing. That's fair. Trumpet Sword. Missed the thunder, uh, Metal Energy though. That's slightly unfortunate. Might have to poke gear for a research. Avery, maybe. There's the VMAX. Quick ball away water energy. So they do have options. They could uh they could definitely load up an Intellion, but it won't be enough. Will not be enough to stop me here. Does our opponent have a Melanie? They do. Do they have a retreat? They have a Sobble. That should be a retreat. They will be able to uh, either do Gale Thrust or what is it called? G-Max Rapid Flow. But that will be their only one they can get off. There's the Tower of Waters. Good. Good thing I saved my Crystal Kit. Alright, go ahead, do your one flow. Rapid flow, sorry, not one blow. Silly me. Got another VMAX down, sure. Don't mind. Don't worry. You play special energy. I'ma be happy. Cool. All right. Ooh, we top decked the metal energy. That's fantastic. We got the crystal cave. Start healing up our boys here. Let's attach the metal energy, and then we want to poke a gear here. Research seems good. Let's just do it one more time. We can get rid of an adventurer's discovery. Don't need it. And let's go ahead and research. Looking for a switch. Got it. Big Charm. Does Big Charm keep you out of range? Not with Telescopic Sight. So I'm not even going to waste it on you. And we Pulverize. 
We got a boss's orders to take out the search and they concede. Uh, don't blame them. All right, our opponent won the coin flip and they chose for us to go first, which is a little sus for me. I always like to go second with this deck, but we look, we could have a turn two Zacian Fiend V knockout and a boss's order, so I actually don't mind. But we are playing a deck. Oh, it looks like we're playing a Weezing deck. I will still boss up that coughing unless they put on a Pokemon V. Krogunk, what does Krogunk do? Okay, they didn't do much. Adventures Discovery or Boss's Orders. Definitely Boss's Orders. Let's get this out of the way. And we will Brave Blade. Cool, we'll take a prize. Fighting Energy. Next turn we can probably Adventures Discovery. Get down some Duraludons and start building those guys up. Unless we somehow draw... Well, actually, if we draw the double switch, that'd be even cooler. So we'll see. We might be able to play Avery as well, depending on how many Pokemon they play down. Okay, Krogunk, what do you do again? Ah, Poisons. Okay, so this is a Poison deck. Yeah, they finally play down the Crobat, but it's a little... Too late for me. Two coughings. And if we play Avery, they're just going to discard the Crobat, so I don't really want to. Ooh, they have a Crobat V Max. Okay. Oh, Marnie, we had Adventures Discovery. We had a good hand. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're probably just going to Intrepid Sword. There's a special energy. That's good. Okay, so Duraludon, Energy, we don't need to play the Crushing Hammer. Maybe we just Intrepid Sword here. Hold the boss, hold the Crushing Hammer. I think I like that. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll just keep all that in our hand. Can attach the Energy to Duraludon later. Avery's good, because now I know they're not going to get rid of their Crobats. But we are going to be taking a ton of Poison damage. 70, and you poison me. Bossing up my Duraludon, no! <laughs> you cheeky person. Alright, fine. Play the Crushing Hammer. Missed. Can I attach the energy to Duraludon? Now I think it's okay to Avery. Force them to discard. We get a V Max, which is good. Which is great, actually. Fortunately, we missed the switch, though. Okay, they do discard their Crobat. Let's go ahead and go into the V Max then. And we can safely play down that Duraludon, and we can do another Intrepid Sword. Big Charm Fighting Energy. Perfect. Let's hope we don't get Marnie. Don't want to see a Marnie here. Opponent has a two card hand. Hopefully it's a research. I would prefer them to have a research. Energy, okay. Yeah, we are in complete control of this matchup. Gonna do that, and we're just gonna boss up this Weezing. And we're gonna pulverize it. See ya, get out of here. Oh, you have a crow guns. Our opponent's probably gonna concede. We'll see what happens. A switch is nice. That Avery <laughs> got him. Well, I told you, everybody will scoop and you can't touch Duraludon on VMAX. You need to play Path to the Peak. You need to play Pokemon that can hit through abilities. Otherwise, if you play Special Energies, you're, you're done. There's nothing you can do. There's not a thing you can do. Well, maybe you can play Echoing Horn to get the Zacians back, but even then, good luck. It's a tough deck to beat, and I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time on Crash Play Gaming.